Crowd's waited for a moment like this. McMillan in the end zone will leave it there. And Sean Savoy, the freshman, motioning back in, but they feed McMillan, and he's got a crease. And Trayvon McMillan, a quick burst across the 35. The old orange ball, but it is rowdy. There's a lofted throw on third down, out of bounds. No chance to make a play. Okie's crowding the line. It's a reverse. Barrios looks to throw it, and the quarterback's wide open, and Rozier makes a catch out near midfield. So Barrios involved in various ways early. The ball to the quarterback, and nobody picks him up. Man-to-man -man from Virginia Tech. Linebackers let the quarterback slip out. Second and 20. Empty backfield, under pressure again. Rozier steps up, delivers over the middle, going up high and making the catch is Berrios. Well, there's going to be a nice hole right here behind the linebackers. Look how he settles in. Look at the window right there in the back end between the safeties, behind the linebackers. Rozier that time throwing in rhythm, second and forever. Second and ten. And it's a quarterback keeper. Rozier's got some grass. He's got a downfield block, scoots all the way into the end zone. Now they'll spot him out short. They'll spot him out short, but Braxton Berry was just to add to his start through an unbelievable downfield block. Looking at doing it all, it's a, a good effort. Looks like he steps out of bounds and he's out. They're going to go hurry up, try to catch Virginia Tech off guard here. Down scoring. DJ Dallas in the game, eye formation on third down. Get the pitch, looks to cut it back, throws it to Rozier off his fingertips. Bearing down on him was Brandon Face on the corner. Toss sweep, stopped in the backfield. Luke Reynolds made the tackle, the Hokies make a stand. Keeper, and first down as Jackson dives across the 20. Easily picks up six yards. Reese again gets wide. The sophomore, say the most explosive of the Virginia Tech running backs, and he does move the six. If you check in with Cassidy Hubbard, good games now for Phillips. Third and seven. Pass rush. They got him. Miami's first sack of the night. Watch this. Carter's out here. Amari Carter, he comes all the way around, and nobody picks him up. You can see the back. McMillan, he gets caught up with. Hokies do bring pressure. Rozier stands in, delivers, catch made, and a diving move for the first down by Amon Richards. You don't understand what an accomplishment that is. Defense to get him, get him ready for tonight. He's got it again, kind of skates the outside, and he'll be wrestled out near the marker. Works out so far. Jackson the throw and a catch for a short gain by Sean Savoy, the true freshman receiver who's come on strong. From your outside receiver up the top. Instead, Jackson looks that way but takes off and is stopped short of the first down. All right, there, that's a surprise. He's to the right of the quarterback. They fake it to him and now throw it across the middle of Herndon, the tight end, as a first down across the 30. He's a talented senior. In fact, they kind of step up a little bit. And that's what allows Rozier. Play action. Rozier looping it downfield. For Richards, incomplete, but a flag on Adonis Alexander. Chance that's exactly what they don't want is the overthrow in that deep shot. There's a short pass underneath. Homer's got it. And he's got a first down and much more inside the Tech 30. So the dump down works. Cal, you'll see Edmonds right here. He just kind of gives up on it, starts going to the backfield. And a good job by Rozier just kind of getting that ball to him. It's in there. Bud Foster says that's been a strength of this defense. You think it's a Dallas and Rozier again looking downfield for Thomas. Jump ball incomplete. Here comes a flag again, Kirk. Takes a look in the slot. Barrios touchdown Miami. And the Canes finally punch it in from close. Little move to the right, uh, foot in the ground, and Reynolds falls down for the touchdown. Right there. 87 yard drive as Miami breaks on top. Got to show what he can do. McMillan from the two. 
And some space is out across the 30. Two long drives, one touchdown to show for it, and now a pass rush that's going to swallow up Josh Jackson for the second time tonight. That was Kendrick Norton who's been active in there, the big fella. Big guy right here, seven, does a nice job working through this, the offensive lineman. Haynes shows some late pressure, immediate harassment of Josh Jackson. Homer takes off. Homer in the clear. Travis Homer all the way home. Touchdown, Miami. It's great vision, great block. He pulls out of one tackle, and then the safeties aren't there to help out and run support. Longest run Tech has allowed this season. Lease and picks up some big yards. You know, a second and one throw far side. Catch. Phillips has a first down. I like the technique in an option pitch. It was kind of over the top there by Jackson. But it was with the right hand. It was almost like a basically a throw. They cannot afford to continue to dig themselves a hole. Jackson backpedals and flips it downfield. Yes. A catch made with a big cushion by Savoy, who's into Miami territory. Watch how he's falling back, but sees the separation and flips it out there. It's a great job of being able to get the ball out there. To the, the urgency you talked about translating to Tech's first productive drive of the night. McLeese dives for another first down inside the 35. It just felt different, didn't yeah. it, when they came out here? Keeper. Jackson waited. Tough to the long time, read it very well, and moves it down to the 22. Drives it right through. You can see the leg strength. Finally, the accuracy hammered by Sly from 70. That was that was halfway up the net. Every kickoff the guy makes is a touchback. It's just been he tries a field goal. Hurrying up here a little bit. Right, not much urgency. They hand it off to DJ Dallas, who breaks free. Dallas now scoots into Tech territory, and now Miami in business again. This little jump cut back to the right, right there. That's what opened it up. And then he picks up a nice block there by 10 yards. Rogier throwing it downfield. Thomas leaping an interception by Alexander. Adonis Alexander with the takeaway. Trying to atone for two pass interference penalties. Gets it out to the 33. It's a clinic. Look at him on the left. Watch his head. He sees the ball from the time it leaves the quarterback's hand. The previous two or three times, he had no earthly idea where the ball was. I mean, with that size, it's 6'3". He tracks the ball the entire way, and then he goes up and takes it away from the undersized Thomas at 5'10". Makes the pick, and the Hokies now trying to cut into the lead further before halftime. They have 53 seconds to work with. And there's a catch made on the far side, hard hit, but Eric Kuma, Kuma picks up 10. Spotted the ball about a yard short of it. Jackson steps up, delivers across the middle. Kuma again, and he scoots out in Miami territory. Another first down, 34 seconds left. But in situations like this, the end of halves. Jackson, though, pressure drops way back, just heaves it downfield. A dangerous throw. Catch made by Phillips. He went up and got it. The mistimed leap. Well, Big play. Yeah, Dean tries to go up, and this is a risky throw again. Jackson falling off and away from the ball. Gets enough on it, and he puts it up high enough. Dean, as you said, Chris, just is in position. Just really poor job of timing it up. And look at Cam Phillips, who's been challenged this week. He times it up perfectly. In fact, high points the ball. One on one. Jackson looking that way, flip to Savoy in a screen. Ball comes out. It's on the ground. Kane's have it. RJ McIntosh, big man rumbling down the sidelines. And run out. Get the turnover chain ready for the first time tonight. That is huge. Juan Johnson right there. Helmet on the football. It pops up. And I'll tell you, McIntosh, for a 300-pound guy, pretty athletic. One hop right into his arms. And now he's thinking about, I'm going the other way. He's taking this to the house. I'll get the chain, but it can wait. First of all, let's see if we can get some points out of this. He's running too gracefully. He had to play running back or receiver at some point to get more points with 12 seconds left. 
Okies rush three. Rogier. He and out escape loses the ball. And it's a tech takeaway now with three seconds before the half. Free snap. They fake it to Homer. And Rogier over the middle delivers to Barrios, who goes down low and makes a catch in front of Luke Reynolds. And that was my point. He believes you can you can be 60-65% success rate. Over the middle. Tipped. Intercepted. Picked up by Reggie Floyd. And the Hokies safety has some blockers still running down into the red zone. And Virginia Tech is set up after the second interception of Rogier. He doesn't do. Here comes Edmonds coming up. He doesn't recognize the safety, Floyd, and how low he gets. He gets right into the throwing lane. It's tipped. And then Floyd is able to step in front and make the interception. So an RPO, Rozier takes the chance. Ball's tipped at the line of scrimmage and then intercepted by Floyd. Savoy around the edge. Freshman breaks free, dives. No signal. They'll mark him short, but Jackson sneaks it. Stacked up, spinning, fighting, reaching, touchdown. And the Hokies cash in the interception, moving to just 17 yards to slice this lead. Eagerly push the quarterback. It's the quarterback sneak. He gets pushed, and here comes McMillan to help push him in. The keeper. He takes off. The running back Homer was lit up, well, but the ball was in Rogier's hands. That's a great read. Worry about trying to block the big guy, and he takes the running back, and that's a great job by Rogier of seeing that. And DJ Dallas into the game for Homer. Rogier looks in a slant, and the catch is made by Richards. Richards loses the ball, but Herndon jumps on it, and the Canes retain the possession and move the sticks. Tried to go by him, so instead of going by him, he does a good job with his hands and coming back right where the first down marker was. So it's the captain, the tight end, Herndon, making a crucial play there. Rogier took a look downfield, and now throws another pick. Greg Stroman, the third of the night for the Tech defense. Look right, and then it's not there, comes back, throws late because he looked right and came back, and that's the quickness in the vision there as Strowman jumped around. Four picks in seven games for Rogier, three tonight. More on car insurance. Did you check from the 45 after the third interception? Now McMillan makes a cut and a move, and he's down inside the 40. Side of the offensive line creates a nice seal right there. Big time blocked by Chris Cunningham, who is vocal this week. Their only attempt so far here in the second half. And this is McLeese. So you call a straight ahead run. Don't get it, but I think on fourth down, they're going to go for it here from the 32. I think it's going to be a series and a drive that we're going to look back at and say what could have been maybe for Virginia Tech. Homer is wrestled down in the backfield. Quick penetration by Trayvon Hill. Empty backfield. Here comes the pressure. Rogier steps up and delivers high, and the catch is made by Herndon, who's still rumbling. Herndon all the way for a touchdown! Bring pressure. Jackson gets it out. Catch made right at the marker by James Clark. It's third down. Jackson sets and fires almost incomplete. It ricocheted off the hands of the Miami defender Redwine. It's fourth down. Here, Homer is in the slot. Rogier delivers incomplete. Richards kind of broke the route off, and Edmonds was in the vicinity. So miscommunication again. It's fourth down. Now the pump return sets Tech up at the 40. Now Jackson, a first down throw to Phillips, who makes the catch into Miami territory. Cam Phillips, he's made a play earlier, this time right there, a nice stem. Gives him a little head and a little shoulder to the outside. Gives him enough room to work back in. Perfect timing that time. You see, he got rid of the ball just in time. And McMillan will not get first down yardage. Battle just to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's fourth down. Need three. Jackson. Chased, harassed, heaves it, in, intercepted, intercepted by Jaquan Johnson. 
over the head of the receiver and into the safety's hands. The chain will come out for the second time tonight. It's the first pick of Jackson. That McIntosh came up with this time. McIntosh chases Jackson out. He's trying to go way backside to Cam Phillips, who was open. Just a misfire. And how about the catch wow. by Johnson? Yeah. Second and nine as we begin the fourth quarter. And Rogier, a downfield shot. Richards running free. Makes the catch inside the 15 as he falls down. Right, watch him get into the middle. Takes Floyd away, and that opens up the middle of the field for him to go over the top. You're in the red zone. Set up first down at the 13. DJ Dallas in the game. Here yeah. steps up, escapes, and runs into the end zone. He's standing up. Back to throw. Middle of the defense opens up. He gets downfield to make a nice block, but it, the entire defense had cleared out. Affect you and help you move up in those rankings. Jackson rolls and finds Clark, and Clark is muscled out right near the marker at the 35 by Young. Jackson delivers again incomplete off the hands of a receiver. It was Clark that time, and the punt team comes out. Games on second and three. It's Rogier taken off again. Picks his way. He's knocked down right at the marker by Tim Settle. A special teams guy, you know, coming into this year. In the flat, it's Dallas and DJ Dallas dancing free. And he shows some elusiveness. The converted wide receiver stepped into a running back duty tonight. Makes another first down. Hokies are crowding the line. Rogier looking to throw. Delivers incomplete. He tried to find Herndon again, trying to throw for it. Backed up. 8.46 to make up 18 points. Dangerous throw in the flat. And the catch is made by Phillips, who's got a blocker and still running in a big game. He's knocked down out of bounds. Early on this play, a potential tackler right there. Jaquan Johnson, he was able to shake another one. And then there's great hustle downfield. There's no foul called. Jackson from the pocket. Ball comes out. Scooped up. And the Canes have their third takeaway tonight. Long, young, long defensive end. They rotate so many bodies. Manny Diaz said when he was a young coach, he watched Mickey Andrews at Florida State do that. And he just believes in it. And keep them fresh for four quarters. And what a play by Garvin. And Rogier is pressured and sacked. So it's going to be fourth and real long as Ricky Walker gets him. And the Tech defense just rise up and prevent further damage. In the old days, third and 17. Across the middle, it's a catch made in traffic and then a hard hit delivered. Jackson from the pocket. Incomplete. Broken up intended for Phillips, but a flag comes in late. Tech again methodical at the line. Jackson delivers underneath. And the catch is made by Chris Cunningham. The clock again will stop briefly yeah. as they move to six. For a 1 and 11 high school team, was sacked about a thousand times in that season. So he, he learned early on that to be a quarterback, you got to be resilient and you got to keep getting up. And he's brought down. Jackson sacked again as Joe Jackson. Stepping out and knocking the quarterback down. It'll be fourth and a mile. Both the defensive ends. There's a race to the quarterback. On the right, Trent Harris. He gets there. And on the left, Joe Jackson. And the Canes just think, let's get one more chain tonight. Jackson harassed. Heaves it. Caught. Phillips is going to have to make four guys miss and is knocked down. Now a flag comes in where the tackle is made. And he's made out a face mask he has, there. And I believe they've given him new life for the face mask penalty. Yep, can't wait to see that offense against this defense next Saturday. Final 30 seconds. Hokies trying to find the end zone. Uh -oh, Instead, it it's a fourth takeaway. Shedrick Renwine. Still got it. Got blockers. And will finally be brought down from behind at the 46 with eight seconds to play. Give him the chain. And the Canes 
make a strong statement. Comprehensive, dominant. They extend the longest winning streak in the FBS to 13.